Welcome to another episode of Shropshire's Geological Past. Today I am at a place called Naughty Bank, just underneath a hill fort which is just up there. And here is a great place to see the Devonian formations within Shropshire. Now the Devonian rock covers a substantial part of the southeast corner of the county but there aren't many many places where you can actually see it exposed to the surface and this place on the side of the old hill fort is a cracking place to see these rocks now you might remember from a previous episode where i referred to the red sandstones around bridge north as the new red sandstone well this the devonian stuff is what used to be cut known colloquially as the old red this formation in front of me is part of what's called the St. Morgan's Formation and it covers a substantial portion of the southeastern part of the county of Shropshire. And this St. Morgan's Formation is about 393 to about 419 million years old. So it's right at the very lower half of the Devonian period. And it was formed basically by a series of river channels, deltas, braided rivers. So, yeah, so what you'll find in amongst the sandstone grades so you'll have fine grain to coarse grain just representing the river channel as it's moving around in the delta system similar to what you find in most deltas today but you'll also find lenses and lobes of mudstone and also slightly different colored sandstones it is predominantly dark red brown color but you'll find areas of a pale gray in there as well and that's just part of the variations in the sediments is getting deposited by these rivers. Okay, so I'm a little further up the hill and we're in one of these little hollows and I've got something actually pretty, pretty fantastic. At least I think it's fantastic anyway and I'm a geek. <laughs> Let's say for a minute. And um, what we've got is the change from what's called the Upper Abdon limestone formation and the Clee Hill sandstone formation right there changes right here and what we've got here with the Abdon limestone formation is what's called a calcrete or calcite and basically it's if, if you might look at it and think it almost looks like concrete and that's because it kind of is it's a natural concrete so a calcrete or calcite is formed by basically a eroded soil in an arid environment having a limey covering over it and essentially it forms this natural what is literally a natural concrete I mean this stuff really sodding hard <laughs> you know compared to the much softer sandstone that's above it if you're wondering about the hollows that i'm in where i found this formation it's likely the result of rainwater dissolving some of this limestone and these kind of little mini sinkholes are actually a common feature where the limestone tends to dominate. And yeah, the Abdon Formation is slightly younger than the St. Morgan's Formation, which is right underneath it. And then above it, obviously we've got the Clee Hill Sandstone Formation, which again is, is younger than, than the Abdon. And we're talking still lower Devonian going into the middle Devonian. So this is the top of Cleeburf which is the summit of the south part of Brankley Hill. And it is ridiculously windy on top of here because of the remnants of Storm Gareth. So I've actually done the voiceover work at home. So, sorry folks. Now one thing you might have noticed about South East Shropshire is a successive series of ridges. Now these ridges are a relic of Britain's past and they tell the tale of a time during the Devonian when three continents collided an event known as the Caledonian Orogeny. Now, what's an orogeny? Well, an orogeny is the scientific term for a period of mountain building. And in the case of this one, it was the one that formed the Caledonian mountain range. So the Caledonian Orogeny actually started earlier in the Ordovician period. And the continents of Laurentia, Baltica and Avalonia started moving to, towards each other. During the end of the Silurian period, they collided, forming the foundation of what became the old red sandstone continent. And during the Devonian period, this collision kept happening and it forced up the land creating the Caledonian mountain range. 
You can see the evidence of this period of mountain building along the northeast coast of America, particularly places like New England, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, the eastern mountains of Greenland, the mountains of Norway, and as the name infers, the Scottish Highlands. In Shropshire, the forces of the colliding continents was less extreme, but still managed to tilt the bedding planes of the earlier Silurian period. And that's what we see here in these ridges in Shropshire. The various rock beds were bent and folded, creating a series of synclines and anticlines in these dips and folds. If you look at this cross section, which takes you from Loughton in the southeast to Acton Scott in the northwest, you'll see what I mean. The layers of limestone and sandstone and mudstone have been tilted up at an angle, creating this series of escarpments and dales. Now, Brankley Hill sits at the bottom of one of these folds, one of the synclines, and the bedding plains of the Silurian period go out westwards from underneath it, tilting up at an angle, creating the series of escarpments that now dominate the South Shropshire Hills. This all is an echo of events 400 million years in the past.